Hey guys, welcome to my channel today. Today's video is about how you can create your very own impressionistic low flower like this one. So if you're ready, let's get started. Taking my alcohol bottle first, I put a few drops down on the Yupo paper. To this, I'll then add my ink and just a drop or two should do for now. And then I'll take the straw and just start blowing that around. The reason I didn't put the ink down first is because sometimes these darker colours can stain the paper and we want to try and avoid creating any stains or marks that we can't get rid of later. I'll continue adding more alcohol only at this point. I'm really trying to thin out that, um, that purple eggplant colour. So I push it in the direction I want it to go with the straw. My my straw is usually behind the entire ink or alcohol blob that's on there to so help move it all in the direction that I want to go. Otherwise, if you're directly above it, it tends to just disperse fairly evenly in a circular kind of way. So you want to be right behind it with the straw maybe at about a 45 degree angle from the surface of the paper. Still, I've not added any more ink. I'm just spreading that out and we get all these cool colours that come through with the blues and the pinks. Continuing just to add pure alcohol, um, my goal is just to thin out the eggplant colour that's on there um, to get all those pretty blues and pinks coming through. If there are any heavy areas of, of the ink colour, um, I'm also applying it to that to to separate that so we've got um, a really thin base of this colour to start with. Um, mostly trying to push it out to the edges but sometimes having to push it back in depending if I think it's going too far. Picking up the eggplant ink again I'm adding more right to the centre of the flower and I start to um, push that around with just a little bit um, of alcohol in there so it's not diluted quite as much then I'll add a little bit more and start to push it just a little bit further um, it's about building up the color at this point and going over the sections that we've done and then you get these beautiful um, dark lines that start to appear and form this idea of petals So here I decided that it was better to do it the other way around, so I gave it a little spin and got an extra little drop of ink there which was not planned but we will make it work. So adding my alcohol and just spreading it all around, building up those layers. Sorry about the glitch in the video there, I literally just added alcohol to that second blob and spread it around. Now I'm just going to speed up the video just a little bit as I finish this off, but I am basically alternating between the ink and the alcohol, um, not adding as much alcohol, but it just helps to spread it that little bit further to the edges, trying to build up some interesting patterns and these idea of petals, but always working from the center and pushing that ink out towards the edges. I'm just going around some of the um, heavier pigmented areas on the, the edges of the flower just to thin them out just a little bit, almost implying that the light is coming through at the very edges of these petals in our um, impressionistic flower. Then adding a little bit more um, solid ink where needed as well. I'm now starting to consider where the center of my flower is going to be. So I've been adding right there just some pure alcohol just to help dilute that center area so it's not full of the heavy eggplant pigment. Um, if we were to put the yellow down onto the eggplant, it would uh, not look very yellow. So we wanna clear that area a little bit. Along this bottom edge, I want to make it just a little bit darker. I'm just going to turn it around so that it's easier to do so I can push the ink in the right direction. So I put down a big blob and start spreading that around and adding just a little bit of alcohol so it's not 
um, too, too solid and just varies that up a little bit. Blowing sometimes behind the alcohol drop and sometimes right on top of it, depending on what I want to achieve, how much I want to push it around. Now I've turned it around so it's the right way. I feel like this is the bottom edge to my flower. And picking up a cotton bud and dipping it in a little bit of alcohol, I'm just clearing that spot just a little bit more, just so it's as white as it can be. It will never get completely white because it's now been stained by the ink, but it's pretty close. I'm now adding the center of my flower and rather than put the ink directly onto the UPO paper in the center, um, it would spread too much and it would take over. I use a brush so I have a bit more control and I put the ink just on a separate palette or in this case a lid um, and pick up the ink with the brush and get it on there nice and neatly with that brush. You have a little bit more control with this. And I add a couple of layers. I don't just do one go out. I do add a little bit of dark green in there just to add a slightly darker edge. Otherwise this yellow is just gonna look too, too bright. So I, I dirty that yellow just a little bit with that slight bit of green that you saw on the right hand side there and add that to the, the yellow as well for my center. And there we go, a simple little blow flower. You can of course try this in any color or multiple colors, but I'd probably stick to a maximum of three if that's the route that you're gonna go. Let me know your results in the comments below, or if you have any questions, pop them down there as well. And if you liked what you saw today, don't forget to click subscribe to see what next week's video will be.